So I had some very exciting news for us, Gintama fans. There was going to be a big announcement coming in the next issue of Shonen Jump involving Gintama and a domain name of GintamaFilm.com was like released and leaks. Now we've had this before, honestly, that you know, like with domain names, like, oh, how can you be so certain with that? Well, we had the same thing happen with My Hero Academia, we've had this happen with a bunch of of different kind of shows and when this stuff happens that's normally just how the word works so uh, like it does it makes a lot of sense if they were saying oh they're teasing something and then there, there's a movie going on now a lot of people are kind of confused by uh, about this news because they're saying oh it's under Warner Brothers name and it's like oh well they're gonna be doing a live no I'd like to say that like Warner Brothers actually does take part in like you do get to see their credits are in the Gintama movie one and or forever Yoriza and the question is right now is that you know if there is going to be a live action movie which would be like why <laughs> like why would you ever do a live action movie of Gintama like it seems like the most not silliest thing to do it just seems like a such a weird thing to do for the series where it's like the series like it r depends on its wacky humor it depends on like the like on the gag and the violence and like you know it has a lot of stuff and it's like I wouldn't mind, I think, like, I wouldn't mind it as a social experiment, but if they did, like, I know a lot of people, especially in Japan, they cannot get enough of, like, Gintama, like, if you saw one of the recent articles that was, like, a couple, like, a, like, a month or two ago, it was saying that it was one of, like, TV Tokyo's highest profit-grossing, like, series out there, like, next to Yokai Watch, and it was beating Yu-Gi-Oh! in gross profit and just overall in sales, and I'm like, Something like Yu-Gi-Oh! that it's just meant as a just pure advertisement for the fucking card game itself like that. And it's like, you know, it was doing numbers there with like Naruto up there and Yokai Watch especially, which you know, people know in Japan like how huge Yokai Watch is and it's like like Gintama's a heavily respected series over there and it's a heavily adored series as well. And I absolutely love the fact that that's the case of it. So I honestly I cannot like wait to see what this news is. I really hope it's the case that it is another anime movie because the uh, second movie Forever Yours that is my favorite movie I, I absolutely adore that movie I think that's fucking fantastic like I've I've got I get emotional I get I cry up to that shit like it's absolutely beautiful and you think about that it's like why because it's really fucking well done and it was written by Sorachi and it was written to be kind of an ending to the series like in one way or another and it was such a good movie and I absolutely was head over heels for it and like especially with how Shonen Jump movies especially it was around that time where Shonen Jump movies decided to improve in their quality since most of them were just like oh rescue the princess but then we had stuff like you know like not like Boruto like was fucking fantastic we had that as well we had Gintama come out there you know we had one piece like you know film Z like we had that stuff going in we had so many like more like higher quality like anime movies from like Shonen Jump series than we actually do like like past few years ago since it was just like oh just throw anything and it'd be fine and I really like that like considering like how much serious series we're getting movies and series and I really hope that this is going to be the case and all that that it's going to be a hopefully another anime movie that I really hope either way if it's an anime movie or if it's a live action regardless of what the hell it is and all that which you know if this just confirmed that I would personally love saying that. They're now allowed to start up the anime again, which we know is going to happen at some point. It's like, but they're probably wanting to, like, make sure that, you know, like, he isn't, like, scared, you know, to, like, all oh, wrap it up too quickly because, you know, he did say that he was, gonna like, going to end the manga in 2016 to, like, early 2017. So it's kind of the way of saying, hey, we can have a movie in the meantime. Whilst that's happening, we can begin the final season, you know, working on the final season stuff. So it's like, you know... Either way, we're going to get more material of that, and I'm excited to think, like, what is it going to be? Like, you know, what is this next content we're going to be? Is it going to, like, relate to, like, kind of canon again in, like, the last movie we did? Like, I'm really looking forward to, like, what's going to be happening. And if it can make me cry and get me as emotional as what uh, Forever Yorizu did, then that's going to be uh, fantastic. I trust, like, Sorachi as a writer. I think he's a fantastic writer, and he makes me laugh all the time when he does that. And when he shit hits the fan and gets serious, you know it's going to be good. Honestly, looking forward to see what you guys think of the concept of demo. I really excited. I cannot wait. Someone crack more into that website. Make sure that it's an official. Like, let me know if it's an anime movie or a fucking live action. Regardless of what, if it's live action, they have to get the voice actors. They have. I don't care. They have to get them in. They be down for that shit. 
that would be great and all that, like, because I know how the Japanese are with, like, stuff like that, so we'll have to wait and see, but that's all for me, so thank you much for watching, as always, you love Gintama as much as I do, do you know what to hit that like and that subscribe, thank you very much for watching, as always, though, and I'll see you guys, though, next time.